All right, what we're going to talk about for the next couple lessons is a concept called utility maximization. Remember we said that we have two parties in microeconomics. We have individuals and then we have firms, right? Businesses. And that each one kind of uh, looks at what they want to accomplish differently. Uh, individuals, they want satisfaction from life. We don't want money. It's not that we don't want money at all. We do want money. I want money. I work so that I can get money. But why? What am I going to do with that money? I'm not just going to like roll around in the money and I'm not just going to sn sniff it or, you know, shove it in my ear or something like that. Okay. The reason that I want money is because of the possibility that that money will allow me to buy things that will give me satisfaction. So it's not really the money that I want, it's the satisfaction that I can get from what I can buy with the money, okay? We all want to get as much satisfaction as we can possibly get given our limited resources. You have some resources, I have some resources. You have your phone, right? And you want to get the most satisfaction that you can get out of your phone right? You have maybe a car and you want to get the most satisfaction you can out of that car. Some people have more resources. Some people have fewer resources. But whatever resources we have, we would like to get the most happiness, the most satisfaction that we can possibly get out of those limited resources. And that means maximizing our utility. And so economics has a way of or a couple different ways of trying to mathematically understand how people choose to maximize their utility. Okay. Now we have this, uh, the basic formula, which is the net benefit. That's all of the utility that we're going to get is going to be equal to the utility that we get from consuming things minus the cost of consuming those things. Let's say a slice of pizza costs you three bucks. That's the cost. That's, that's the explicit cost. There's also the implicit cost of going to the pizzeria and getting the slice. That could be very difficult. It might be in a mall and you have to park far away. It's really busy. You got to stand in line for 15 minutes. You got to wait for them to cook your pizza. You could say, I don't even want to bother going there and doing that. I'd rather have it delivered. Oh, you're having it delivered. Now there's a transaction cost associated associated with that and that's explicit. So in addition to the three bucks for the pizza, you're going to have to pay the delivery cost. Like if you're using, you know, DoorDash or uh, Uber Eats or something like that. Okay. All right. So, um, so, uh, the benefits, um, are going to be what you get from consuming the thing and the cost is what it takes, what you have to give up to be able to get that thing. And here's the point I want to make that the more you consume your, the more your utility will go up, but Here's what I want to remind you. We just learned about the law of diminishing marginal benefit. So this number, the benefit, this number is going to go down. This number, the, the benefit from each, each item you consume is going to go down, but the cost of each item you consume is going to go up because the law of increasing opportunity cost. So let's say that in some item that you're going to consume a bunch of, let's say the first one you, you're going to get, let's say, um, 17 benefit from it. And let's say the cost associated with getting it is, um, I don't know, is 10. Okay. So 17 minus 10. So, uh, the, the net benefit is going to be seven. So your overall utility that you're experiencing is seven. All right. So now let's say you're going to consume a second one. And let's say the second one isn't going to give you 17. It's going to give you 15. So we're going to add 15 here. But the cost of the second one is a little bit higher than 10 because of the law of increasing opportunity cost, right? So let's say that it goes up by two and it's now at 12. So for consuming two, the overall benefit you'll get is 32 and the overall cost will be 22. 32 minus 22 is 10. Is that good? Yeah, look, we have an increase in our overall benefit. We went from seven up to 10. So is it worth consuming two of them? Sure, why not? We're going to get more benefit, more utility, right? All right, but let's say as we go to the third one here, let's say that the third one is going to give us 14 more. So we'll go up to 14. We'll add 14 to the 32, but the cost is higher than 12. Let's say the cost of this third one is 13 because of the law of increasing opportunity costs. You can see that the added benefit is getting smaller, 17, then 15, then 14. 
but the added cost is increasing. 10, then 12, then 13. So now if we add them up again, 32 plus 44 or plus 14 is 46. 22 and 13, that's 35. And so now 46 minus 35, that's 11. Now it's not that much more, it's only one more, but it's still more. We're getting more satisfaction here. So let's go with it, let's stick with it. We're gonna go ahead and do that. But now we get to the place where if we wanna consume one more, watch this. Our, uh, let's say that our, the added benefit of having one more of them, a fourth one is now gonna be 13 and the added cost of having one more is 15, okay? So now note, here the added cost is higher than the added benefit, and watch what happens when that happens. 46 plus 13 is now 59, and 35 plus 15 is 50, and 59 minus 50 is now nine. Look what's happening. If we consume a fourth unit, we're actually gonna get less utility, two less utility than if we, if we consume three of them. Why would we do that? We wouldn't. We want to maximize our utility. So if you had a choice of being satisfied at a seven or a nine or a 10 or an 11, which one would you pick? You'd pick 11, why? Because you are rational because you would rather be better off than worse off, and that's an economics thing. You are an economic agent, you are rational, you'd rather be better off. Therefore, you would choose this third line here. You would choose to consume three items and not four, because a fourth one will actually put you in a place where you achieve less utility. By consuming three, you are maximizing your utility. Now this is just a very, very simple mathematical example and what we're gonna do now is we're gonna look at a graphical way of understanding utility maximization.